Sup, Lloyd. Sure was nice of Maribel to invite us over like this, huh? We get to stay at a five-star hotel and whoop it up at the theme park? It's gonna be one heck of a blowout. <laughs> whoop it up. What an interesting turn of phrase. Yeah. Ha. Ha. Hey, Lloyd. I just want to clear something up between you and me. Huh? Those terrorists that got slaughtered. You're thinking the shock of my family doing something so heinous has got me down in the mouth, right? Down in the mouth? As in, like, a frown? He's just using some very interesting turns of phrase in this interaction. So, well... No, not quite. I think there's something else eating away at you, Randy. This doesn't have anything to do with your uncle and the others, does it? Dang, am I that obvious? I once had a friend. Just a year younger than me. Had these big old puppy dog eyes. I think it was the first pal I ever made outside of the core. And then, well, long story short, he was gone. After the dust settled, I left the core and just kept walking. No, I'm in sight. Eventually, I drifted into Crossbell, enlisted in the Guardian Force, and met all of you. But even after all that, I still never managed to run away from it all, from myself. How so? You heard what Uncle Sigmund said. The sight of all those terrorists bloody and mutilated, it's nothing new to me. On the battlefield, a massacre like that is just another Tuesday. The reason I snapped back there, it wasn't out of some righteous sense of indignation. I wasn't angry at my uncle. Heck, I didn't even feel pity for those dead terrorists. It's just, I haven't changed a dang bit, not even after two years. I was disgusted at myself. In the end, I'm a Jaeger right down to my core. So I lost it. Grabbed him by the collar, and then got my butt handed to me. Yeah. Honestly, it was pretty pathetic. I know, right? A guy like me getting kicked to the curb, right in front of the gals, too. How am I ever going to live that one? Doesn't matter. Actually, I'm kind of happy to hear this. Say what? The thing is, Randy, you're more put together than you give yourself credit for. I lean on you a lot, for everything. But this time, I got to lend you a shoulder instead. I'm glad you trusted me with this, even if all you needed was an ear. And it's not just me, you know. I'm sure the others would feel the same. That aside, is that really how you think of yourself? That you're just some bloodthirsty Jaeger deep down? Not in my eyes. You're a lot of things to me, but a heartless mercenary who cashes in on carnage for kicks isn't one of them. You're a frivolous nightlife dweller with a hair-trigger temper, but hot-headed as you may be, you still cool when it matters most. You're like a big brother to all of us in the SSS. The guy we can look up to and rely on in our times of need. That's the Randy Orlando I know. One day without being hardcore won't make us think any less of you. That I can guarantee. If anything, me, Ellie, and the others might actually prefer you that way. Okay, okay, I get it already. Man, how'd I let my guard down? 
Even I'm starting to get wrapped up in your little tricks. Just how much of a smooth-talking Casanova are you? Casanova? I don't know what you're implying. But did I really offend you that badly? Just busting your balls for making me feel stupid about getting depressed. Dang. I was just putting on a front earlier, but now I'm ready to take Mishlam on for real. There's only one thing to do. No, strike that. Two things. Party at the theme park all day and pick up hotties all night. And you, my brother, from another mother, are going to join me. Right. Whatever you say. Still not sure how I did it, but I'm glad I could cheer him up at least. I assume that once I speak to this conductor, I'll be at Michelin. Do we think I have more than 15 minutes of cutscenes to sit through? After I speak with this conductor lady. Because if so, I'm going to just save here and call it a day. But if not, we'll continue a little bit further. Speak to Kia? Kia's here? Where the heck is Kia? Am I... Am I blind? Oh, I swear she was not there. Kia, there she is. She's probably been worried sick about us. She spawned into existence. She was not there. Hey, Kia. I was wondering where you went. She looks so upset. We are such bad parents. Oh, Boyd. So, um... How much longer do you think it'll be? Not too long now. You're going to love it there. There's even a theme park. So we can play together all we want. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Kia. We haven't been able to spend much time with you these past few days. You don't have to be sorry. I'm okay. I don't know why exactly, but I can tell everyone's been feeling sad back at home. I really wanted to cheer all of you up, but I don't think I've been doing a very good job. Head rubs. Uh... You're doing just fine. Having you by our side is more than enough, Kia. Where do you think we find the strength to keep soldiering on? From me? I wonder if that's really true. Sorry. I think I got confused just now. Oh, but everyone does look a lot happier now than they were before. You really are amazing, Lloyd. Aw, oh, you think so? I don't really think I can take all the credit. Anyway, we'll be spending plenty of time together now, so let's relax and enjoy ourselves. You've been waiting forever to go to the theme park with us, huh? Sure have. I want to ride the Ferris wheel so bad. Oh, and me and Tio have to do that kick Mishy thing together. Kicking Mishy? What is this? Kick Mishy? Is that what the kids are into these days? Isn't Tio getting a little too old for that sort of thing? Thank you, but I'm well aware of what is and isn't appropriate for my age. T 
Tio. Tio, I mean, uh, hi, everyone. What's up, guys? Dog. Looks like we all happen to come up here at the same time. Fancy that. And just as we're about to make landfall, too. Oh, yeah, I guess we are. Wow. It's beautiful. And the weather's perfect. Today couldn't be better. Now you're talking. I'm getting pretty hyped. Michelin Resort. I have to remember there's a fishing spot here. Here we are. I take it Maria Bell is waiting for us somewhere. Bell said she'd meet us at 9.30 sharp, so she should be here any second. There you all are. Wait, I know that voice. What the? I was gonna say, that was definitely not Maria Bell. Good morning, Noe and crew. Welcome to Michelin. And an extra special good morning to you, Kia. Good morning. Hey, it's Fran. What are you doing here? You didn't mention anything about going to Michelin when I saw you yesterday. That's because it would have ruined the surprise, Noe. Besides, I'm not the only special guest who came along. We've been waiting for you. I see the gang's all here. Today's really shaping up to be a fun one. No way. That sounds like... Elia, Cecile... Risha, and Sully? Whoa, Bama. Hey, it's Cecile! Cecile out of a nurse uniform. Good for her. And... Archon CL, too. Praise be to Ideos for blessing us with this bounty of beauties. Actually, there's only one woman I know who could arrange for something like this. It was you, wasn't it, Belle? Guilty as charged. Uh, Maria Bell? What's going on here? As it turns out, Maria Bell is an amazing friend. <laughs> After inviting all of you, I thought it'd be more fun if I extended the offer to some of your closest friends as well. This will also serve as a little time off for Archon CL to recharge before the opening of their revival production next month. Elia really has, like, a button-down shirt collar and tie that only goes down into her bra, and then, like, an over-vest. What a weird outfit. <laughs> Why even have the tie and button-down thing? Just wear your bra and the vest. It'd be less annoying. It's so good to see you all again. How did I get dragged into this? This is certainly a surprise. Did you get time off from work for this, Cecile? I happened to take a personal day when Elia called me out of the blue. So when I heard you and the others would be coming, I thought, why not? So many fanfics produced by Cecile will come from this day. 
I hope I'm not spoiling your fun today. No, not at all. I'm glad you're here. Uh, heck to the yeah, somebody pinch me, because I must be dreaming. Seal, Ilya, and a whole flock of babes, all in one spot. Man, oh man. It's like I've died and gone to heaven. Andy, volume down. I can hardly blame the man. Still, this is pretty surprising. Get the spray bottle out again. I really do need to keep that handy at all times. Are we all staying at the same hotel? I should have also given one to Grandpa so he could have sprayed Olivert when Olivert was being equally brandy. Indeed you are. I've had sweets prepared for everyone on the third floor, VIP guests only. Why don't I show you to them so you can drop off your luggage? What luggage? After that, I'm taking you straight to Mishlam's hottest new attraction. New attraction? Aside from the theme park, you mean... I was pretty shocked when I heard about it, too. You see, Mishlam recently opened up a new section to the public. And we've got it all to ourselves until new. That's right. I want to make certain that each and every one of you enjoys it to the very fullest. Huh? Just what sort of place are you all talking about? It's a little slice of paradise that I commissioned specifically for our landlocked little state of Crossbell. Lake Elm's very own white sand getaway, Lakeside Beach. A brief respite. Please give me control so I can save. Here's your room. It's so lavish. I'll say, it's perfect. Did you have them bring in an extra bed just for us? <laughs> top class service is given at a top class hotel. Though sadly, they couldn't accommodate my request to have a block placed on this room's door. From the outside, that is. They couldn't. Huh. Do you trust us that little? <laughs> you wound me. Lovely, though, all you ladies may be. That's no reason to cage us in like wild animals. I trust you, at the very least, Wazy. It's Lloyd and Randy here that need to be placed under lock and key. Lloyd especially. You're a problematic element. One that demands additional surveillance. Me? I can see it now. You'll wander into the lounge in the dead of night only to find a sleepless girl gazing at the moon. And the next thing you know, the mood is just right to set off on that fiery spark we call romance. That's so cliche that I can totally see his white... <laughs> his white bread butt hitting the jackpot like that. Reminder, the cult leader is okay, but not the police detective. <laughs> I mean... To be fair, Wazy's like, I gotta get paid first. Lloyd is just... Baffling. He's a baffling entity. Like Kirito from SAO. Why are all women attracted to him? I'll never know. They just are. Lloyd... How would you like to spend the night at the employee break room? I will pass, thanks. 
Well, I never. Incidentally, I have to return to the city to attend a board meeting after this. I'd better not catch wind of you lusting after Ellie and the others when they're in their swimsuits. You arranged for us to go to a beach where swimsuits are worn. You literally set this up. Because if I do, I won't hesitate to call security and have you dropped in the middle of the lake. Understood. Hello, Rance. Welcome to stream. Yes, ma'am. Still, is everything all right, Mario Bell? You seem more busy than usual. It's because of my father and that audacious proposal he made. It's only complicated his work with the IBC. So a decision was made to have the board of directors take over the day-to-day -day operations. Which means that the stress ultimately falls on my shoulders. So that's what's happening. I can only guess how hard it must be. Thanks for giving us a breather today, but don't forget to take one for yourself. Arrest and relaxation are the keys to a healthy body and mind, you know. But of course, I appreciate your concern. Remember, the Lakeside Beach reception is in the right wing of Michelin Center. They provide swimsuit rentals there too. Swimsuit rentals? I do not think I would rent a swimsuit. I don't know if this is like a like a Japan thing, but I would not rent a swimsuit. It's like renting underwear. Who does that? You will be staying in the men's one. Am I clear? Crystal. Message received. Good. Now, Lakeside Beach is reserved for all of you until noon. After that, you can have all the fun you'd like at the theme park. I imagine several of your group have visited before, so I trust you'll be able to find your way around. This evening, we'll be hosting a dinner for all of you at the state guest house. Formal attire is optional, so you need only worry about arriving on time rather than your wardrobe. Sounds good. You've really gone above and beyond for us all. It's my pleasure. Have fun. Do be sure to relax and enjoy yourselves. It was a long cutscene, but worth watching. It definitely was. It definitely was. Assuming it ends anytime soon. Teasing aside, I think Mario Bell can be kind when she wants to be. I just wish she'd lighten up a little on making me the enemy. Sorry, pal. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Enough about that, though. We got ourselves a beach to hit. I, I feel like you should phrase that a different way. I couldn't put it better myself. The ladies will probably take a while before they're ready. So, what do you say to going on ahead of them? I guess it wouldn't hurt. Let's let the no first, and then we can go. Okay, I am saving now. I am starving. But hey, we're in a new chapter. Finally. Finally. But yep, that is going to be it for the day. I am taking tomorrow off, so the next stream should be on Wednesday. Should be Wednesday and Saturday of next week. But that is going to be it. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you for coming out. Bye.